Welcome back to WNN, home of the Woke News Network, where we strongly believe that the truth has no place in modern journalism. I am your host, Joe Como. Today, we are honored to have Don Sitting Bull Lime, an American Indian activist who is eminently qualified according to his DNA profile provided by 24andMe, as he has 1 20th divided by one millionth percent Native American Indian. Sitting Bull Line will share with us the racist history of Thanksgiving. The eternal struggle between holy natives and earthly pilgrims. Pilgrims would scout the natives, steal land from them, and raid their settlements in the late hours of the night. Thanksgiving is simply a resurrection of the treatment of my people. I do not celebrate Thanksgiving, I celebrate Thanks living because my people were able to survive the brutal and continuous attacks from the savage pilgrims. Pilgrims were brutal people that only knew how to kill, steal, and destroy. They lived in total anarchy. Those colonizers, how evil. We have so much we are guilty for. We have to repent. Before colonizers showed up on their boats in 1619, Native Americans lived in harmony, singing Kumbaya around the campfire while making s'mores and advancing their civilization to new heights of literature, philosophy, and cultured thought. You know, the natives actually came up with the invention of the wheel. Those dang pilgrims stealing all of your scientific achievements and claiming it for their own from you poor natives? Pilgrims committed a bigger mass genocide than Hitler and Stalin combined. It's proven science. Settlers killed every single Native American in North America. Every single one? Every single one. I must ask then, how did you manage to survive? Ancient Indian secret, huh? Well then, tell us how you like to celebrate Thanks Living. My native blood family celebrates by cooking a turkey and stuffing it with delicious stuffing. We then make tart cranberry sauce. We also have buttery mashed potatoes, gravy, root veggies, and some honey ham to finish it off. We also go around the table and name one thing we are thankful for as we watch football. What a unique and creative way to celebrate thanks living in lieu of the traditional barbaric Christian Thanksgiving. Will you celebrate racist Thanksgiving? Or will you stand in solidarity with our fallen Native American indigenous friends and celebrate Thanksgiving this year?